and welcome to the Magnolia Table. I tried to really commit to the whole Joanna Gaines thing, but I'm just not a ponytail girl. I got inspired on our recent trip to New Jersey. I used to love Fixer Upper, but I haven't been able to watch it recently because we don't have Discovery Plus. When I saw that the new Fixer Upper and Joanna Gaines cooking show Magnolia Table was available to watch on the airplane, I was so excited. I was actually more excited about Fixer Upper than Magnolia Table, but I'm so glad that I watched it because like I said, I got so inspired. She made the most delicious looking food and it looked so easy and I was just like, I should do that on the vlog. So today I'm gonna test things out. I will be making all of the dishes that Jo herself made in the first episode of Magnolia Table. That includes Fatai, Jo's Lebanese salad, and baklava, which now that I'm saying it all sounds a bit overwhelming, but it looked really easy on the show. Which brings me to the two things that I wanted to test today. Are these things as easy to make as they looked on the show? And secondly, and probably more importantly, are they actually delicious? Because you know, you can make a lot of easy stuff, but it might not taste that good. So let's put on our fancy neutral aprons. Okay, this one was the most neutral that I owned. <laughs> and let's make some food. I transcribed the recipes down onto my handy little notepad here and I purposefully wrote down the prep time for these because I want to know is it actually 30 minutes or is it cookbook 30 minutes where it's actually like an hour and a half to prep. I'm feeling a little nervous now so I think I'm going to start with the easiest one which is Joe's Lebanese salad. This is pretty much just a couple veggies chopped up and then a simple dressing so I think it should be pretty easy. One thing that I really liked about the show and what seems to be Joanna's way of cooking is everything was really low-key. There was definitely a recipe, a method, but she wasn't worrying about the little things. It was just more of like, I'm cooking for my family type of thing, which I thought was really nice. Now that I'm thinking about it, doing the salad first is probably the worst idea. <laughs> but she did say that if you want a crispier salad, you can prep the veggies and then throw them in the fridge and not add the dressing till later. So I think it'll actually be fine to do this first. That's the only one that I didn't write down a prep time for, but it was super simple and quick. Now I have my dressing over there, and then I'm gonna throw these veggies in the fridge, and we'll move on to the fatai. I'm so hesitant to say that because I am not sure that I'm pronouncing it correctly, and she even specifically talked about on the show how there are two ways to pronounce it, and I can't remember, but I'm, I'm pretty sure fatai is correct. What it is is a meat pastry, ground beef, onions, cheese, and hash browns. One thing that really got me excited to actually try these recipes is she uses these swaps that make things a lot easier. So for instance, instead of making her own biscuit dough, she just uses refrigerated biscuits straight from the grocery store. Also, instead of shredding potatoes, she uses frozen hash browns. And as silly as it sounds, that was really exciting to me because sometimes these fancy recipes look just really complicated or even if they're not fancy recipes that you haven't done before look really complicated so to just see these easy ways to uncomplicate them made me more interested in trying them. So the fatai is supposed to take 30 minutes to prep. Let's do it. meat is cooked and now I'm dumping in the hash browns and the cheese. I think I have about 10 minutes left so I'm doing pretty good but I still have to do the thing that I think that will take me the longest which is rolling out these biscuits flat. Anytime I have to do anything involving using a rolling pin I get nervous so pray for me. Ooh, fresh. Okay that looks pretty good and I'm gonna be a nerd and measure this. Oh, five and a half, so I need like another inch. Yes, this is my only ruler in the house. Okay, the rolling is going okay. We just need lots of flour. My 30 minute prep timer just went off, so this is officially taking me 
more than 30 minutes to do. Granted, I am filming, but I'm not mad about it so far. It's, it hasn't felt like forever. Actually, it kind of has felt like forever. It's a good thing I was timing it. Okay, we have a beautiful pile of dough. I also got my arm working in for the day. <laughs> I am still out of breath. Now we gotta stuff these babies and brush them with butter. Okay, I thought they were all supposed to fit on one sheet, but there are 20, and this is eight. They're very beautiful. Let's put them in the oven. This took me an hour to prep instead of 30 minutes. I guess I'm just not that fast. I also realized I should have included more filling in them because I have some leftovers, so I was tasting it, and it's, it's really good. I am kind of running low on time, though, so we better get the baklava started. It is time for dessert, which Joanna says is her favorite part. I automatically feel like a kindred spirit because dessert is also mine. On the show, I vividly remember her toasting her nuts, but this says that only three tablespoons of the pistachios are roasted, so do I only roast three tablespoons of it? That seems weird. I'm just gonna do it. Wow, I've never toasted nuts before. This really makes you feel like you're doing something with your life. Also, may I just say that D shelling one and 0.66, what am I saying? D shelling this many pistachios takes a long time. So I am assembling our nut mixture now. And here we have almond, sugar, cinnamon, supposed to be cardamom, but I couldn't find it, and nutmeg. And then we're gonna add in our I did not know that this would turn on when I pressed on. I thought I had to press pulse as well. All right, this looks beautiful. Looking good. Oh, it smells good too. And now we assemble, which I'm kind of nervous for because it seems somewhat complicated. Ooh la la, so we have our phyllo dough. I've never worked with this before, it's so cool. It's like super thin. I'm gonna put layers of this phyllo dough in and put butter on top, layer, 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 and then put the nuts on and then do more layers of phyllo dough and switch off. Ooh, okay, this is looking like a pirate's costume. I was very gentle, but that didn't do the trick. This is not going well. I remembered though what she had you do. It's basically like you cut the filo dough in half. So I was gonna try to trim a full sheet, but you actually just half the sheets and then that's about the size of your baking dish. Oh my gosh, what is happening here? On the show, Joanna had this cute little rhyme that she was like, this helps me to remember how to make this. Of course, now I can't remember it, but it was like five sheets and six and 10 and nuts. That, that'll help you, that'll help you with those recipes. The good news, this is going better than expected, and bad news, my timer just went off for the fatai. Okay, you guys. I don't think 40 minutes was the right amount of time for these. These are looking uh, pretty, oh no, pretty dark. Luckily, I put the other ones in later, so they're looking a little bit better, but stay tuned. Phew, okay, that also took me about an hour, but the prep time was 40 minutes, so not too far off for this one. Here they are, they look really pretty. They're not baked yet but the process wasn't actually that bad. It was time consuming, but once I got a feel for the phyllo dough, it kind of was like doing paper mache. It was kind of nice. I got into a rhythm and then it went pretty quick. Whew, so now that I have completely destroyed my kitchen and made many delicious things, let's put them in the oven. We've come to the portion of the show where I sit down with my beautiful family to enjoy the work of my boys. What is that? How do, what is that phrase? So here is my beautiful fatai and Lebanese salad. Spencer's at work and Cord is actually with his grandparents right now so that I could have the time to film, but I'll have them taste it later. She suggested getting a bite with everything in it. A little bit of cucumber, a little bit of tomato, onion, fatai, here we go. Mmm, it's good, it's so fresh. The salad is just so fresh. The store-bought biscuit isn't the best. That's the only part that I don't love, but that's the price you pay for ease. Everything else is so good. I love the pairing of the fresh salad 
with the meat and potatoes. And I love how this is a complete dinner. So often I struggle with putting together a full meal. So this is great. Ooh, and you know what I just thought of? This would be so good with some sour cream to dip it in or like a cucumber, what is that called? Satsiki? Mmm. So good. <gasps> looky, looky. Oh, it's hot. Hot, 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 hot. But it's so beautiful. And now we have the syrup. Wow, this seems like a lot of syrup. Should I keep going? Baklava is very sugary. Okay. By the way, Spencer's home now. And he tried the fatai. What did you think, babe? It was very tasty. Oh my gosh, they're just floating. All right, you guys, check it out. I think this is something to be proud of. These look good. They have to sit for four hours. I guess you can't really see anything on the side. They have to sit for four hours and then we can eat them. So I think I'm gonna cap this video here, but I will check in later with my final thoughts and I'll see you next week in a brand new video. Bye! Gordon and I just got home from trivia and he said he was hungry before bed. Guess what he was hungry for? Baklava! Can you say baklava? Can you? <laughs> Should we taste it? <laughs> Cheers! Oh wow. It, it tastes exactly like what's in it. Just butter. <laughs> Just butter and honey. Papa, I need. Yeah, it's a little juicy still, so hopefully it will set up a little bit more. But we like it. Right, bud? Mm -hmm. Okay, see you next week. Can you say bye? Bye. Oh, hold on a second. I promised I was going to share some final thoughts. So. Here we have it. Were the recipes as easy and quick as they looked? Yeah. <laughs> Are you laughing at mommy? He's like, no! <laughs> I think they actually were. They weren't quite as easy. Yeah. But... <laughs> What's going on over there? What's in that baklava anyways? No! <laughs> So no, they were not quite as easy as they looked, but no. I like the swaps that she yeah. made <laughs> to make them more everyday no. cooking friendly. Were they delicious? Yeah, they were pretty good. I don't think it's the no. best food I've ever eaten. I think she... I thought that might keep me quiet. No. I, really, I really like no. these buddy, buddy. Quiet as a mouse. <laughs> quiet as a mouse. I really like the inspiration no. that they gave me. No. I really like the inspiration that they gave me for thinking of easy family yeah. dinners. So that's my review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I kind of want to keep doing this. So let me know if you want to see a Krista Cook celebrity series and maybe we'll eat some new foods in our house. And now for the third time, goodbye. What'd you say, buddy? No! <laughs> no, didn't she say bye-bye? <laughs>